And coverage you can count on begins with an altercation between a teacher and student at Glen Hills Middle School and is all caught on camera. The teacher out of the classroom this morning, an investigation now underway. Our Jenna Kelly has more. These are the intense moments just before Mr. Akenga Smith is accused of putting his hands on a middle school kid. The video shows a student trying to push Mr. Smith first. That's when he pushed back. A man doesn't put his hands on a, on a child. I don't care what the situation was about. In this particular situation, the teacher did not stop. The video shows him continuing to fight a minor by pushing him to the ground and taking him outside of the classroom. A Richmond County school counselor says the teacher should have gotten outside help. We have panic buttons, so somebody should have pressed the panic button. Richmond County schools responded to the situation in a statement. They say an investigation has begun and the teacher has been placed on paid administrative leave during this time. Paid leave? Uh -oh. I don't think he should have got paid leave. I think he should have left, and I don't think he should be allowed to come back to any Richmond County public school because if he did it then, he'll do it again. But some people think Mr. Smith was using self-defense. I would want to know exactly what happened and why, because sometimes you do have to defend yourself. A viewer with connections to the school told News Channel 6 that the student was asked to be removed from the classroom for being disrespectful. This was before the incident got physical. Adults have to have a certain amount of control when around kids. Um, kids today are different from the kids from before that had a lot of respect. Even though some people believe kids nowadays have a lack of respect, others say adults need to lead by example. There is always a better way of handling the situation than that kind of violence. And that was Jenna Kelly reporting. The Richmond County School Board says that the case file will be presented to a judge to see if any charges will be filed.